Hi, this is Alan with Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. And today I have a kind of iconic gun here. This is the Winchester 62, which is a gallery gun. The reason they called it a gallery gun is they used these in a lot of the old shooting galleries when we had shooting galleries. They were a great pump gun, kind of accurate. They'd, sometimes they'd bend the sights so you wouldn't get your Cupid doll. You'd be off. But it had a high capacity using 22 shorts. Now, some of them were designed for 22 short only because they wanted them to be restricted to gallery shooting and plinking. This one will take 22 long rifle or 22 short. It is a takedown model, and it was probably used in a gallery because the front serial number of this gun does not match the rear serial number. What they would do is they would, and I'll show you at the workbench, they break these in half because they're takedowns, and they throw them in these big wooden crates and ship them from one town to the next, from one carnival to the next carnival place that they were going to open up. And they just take them out of the box and stick them together. They didn't care if they matched or not because they all worked. They were perfectly made. This is a lot of fun. The Winchesters, where all the numbers match and in great condition, are sought after as collectibles. This, I would say, is semi-collectible because it's in pretty good shape. It's got the nice brown bluing, uh, the nice brown acid blue on it. And um, I would say it's about 50, 60 percent intact as far as the color goes. The wood is real nice, but this is not going to be a real big collectible. It's just going to be something different that someone wants to collect and they can go out and shoot it without fear of screwing it up. And I'm going to show you exactly how this little puppy works once we get to the workbench. So let's get over there and take a look at the Winchester 62. Okay, so here we are at the workbench with a Winchester Model 62, which is one of the gallery guns that they used um, in shooting galleries. So I'm going to, it's a 22, so I can't, I can pull the trigger, but I got to keep my finger on the hammer. I can't let it fall. So that's how easy this thing works. I mean, it's so smooth. Now, this is not in great shape. Um, it has some, oh, some of the original brown bluing on it. I will probably end up, there's some scratches on the stock. Um, I'm going to probably end up reworking this and bringing it back to life but not too much. I don't want to lose the, you know, the character of it. So the way this gun works is you're going to remove the, this, you drop your rounds in here, fill up this tube, then you move this back down and you lock it by twisting it, just like the modern 22 semi-automatics, and then you have your 22 ready to fire. Now, to, like I told you, they used to take these guns apart. You just had to unscrew this like that. And there you now, you have it in two parts. And they would put this in a case that this laid in a slot, this laid in a slot, and they just line them up. And they'd throw them in the uh, back of the uh, van or whatever they were using to move their equipment, and then when they get there, they grab these things and stick them together. So a lot of times the serial number on this tang didn't match the serial number that was on the receiver. So we always use the receiver's serial number. In this case, it's actually the trigger group serial number for uh, registering this gun. So cleaning this gun is fairly easy because all, the whole inside is exposed. I just spray it with some strike hold. If you're using regular cleaner, you'd spray it or wipe some regular cleaner on there, and then you wipe it down with oil. And you can see it's a pretty straightforward clean. And there's some thin, hard to get spots. I'm going to use my stick like I always do. I'm going to get all of this nice and clean in here. I'm going to use this stick to push this back in there. Get all this 
nice and clean. Get in here behind the hammer. Okay, so that's good and clean. Now we have the inside of the accent. Okay, and this will not move when I have the gun apart. See that? So I'm just going to spray in there like this. And I'm going to take this one of these because it's easier since I can't reach it with my finger or and the stick is not going to really get in there well at this point. Okay, so I got the areas that would be easy with that. Now I'm going to use a stick to get some flats that I can't really get that well with that piece. Okay, so now what I did was I, I'll show you. There is a little button on the back here. When you push that, you can release this and it'll open up for you. And I'm going to get that now that I have this out of here. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get around the bolt face the firing pin face okay Now I'm going to just make sure I get behind the extractor. You got that. Okay. And of course, I would take a bore brush and patch and go down the barrel. But you know, I don't do that on my videos because it's just not an exciting thing to watch and it's a simple process and I don't think anyone needs to really see me do that. This needs a lot of work anyway, so I'll have to do that when I get back to the shop. Now you can see what a fantastic job Strikehold is doing just on dressing the blues, the bluing on this. I mean, look look how that came back just using strike hold on it. Just getting the dirt, just pulling off the dirt off of the gun. Years of finger oil and body oil corrosion and, well, buildup. Okay. Now, oil, if you're going to oil this gun, if you use regular cleaner, every place you touched it with... Uh, Cleaner, you have to put oil on it. I don't really need to do this next step because I use strike hold. You can watch my video on it. You can order it from me. This stuff is a one, a CLP, one uh, product that does cleaning, lubricating, and protecting. So I'm just going to get all of these metal parts with the oil. Okay, but you would just wipe down everything I did with that that you saw me do with the strike hold you every place that you touched with your cleaner you're going to have to do this with oil okay because if you don't it's just going to keep eating away the metal and the finish of your gun that's why how do these guns lose their finish that's one of the reasons not the biggest reason but one of the definitely reasons okay putting this gun back together again i close it which is now locked in position I slide this on, and it goes on that easy. I just had to screw down. Now I just screw it. Okay, something. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Back together again and functioning. Okay. 
The Winchester, model 62, 22 and 22 long rifle. This one shoots both. Some only shoot 22 short. Some only shoot the long rifle. This one does both. And it is a pretty cool specimen and ready to be taken to the range and had fun with. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. This is Alan with Alan's Firearms saying until next time.